What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and we got something new. Alright you guys, so I have been waiting on this thing for about a month or so. I ordered this thing off of uh, Banggood and it was in stock at the time that I ordered it, but then I went and checked the tracking about a week later and nothing. <laughs> it was out of stock. So I don't know what that deal was. I don't know. But anyway, it took a month for it to get here. It's finally here. Let's open up this packaging and see what we got. And there it is, everybody. I got the new MN82 from MN Models and when I saw that they came out with this thing, the body just looked absolutely awesome. I told myself I have to get this because it just looks absolutely awesome. Um, on the box here, it is officially Toyota, officially licensed, which I believe is a first for MN Models that it's officially licensed by a car manufacturer. Um, so it does say that it is a 112 scale. The boxing looks pretty good. I mean, it looks a little beat up and everything, but uh, on here it does say that you have some upgradable parts that you can get. Um, axles, suspension, and the drive shaft. Um, the color that I ended up getting on this, I believe, I got the brown. So this is a color that I wound up going with. The uh, box art looks very nice, uh, but it looks like it's literally just a sticker. It looks like it's just a sticker on top of the box, but either way, that looks very nice. Again, officially licensed Land Cruiser. Um, we got four wheel drive. We got four by four, 2.4 gigahertz. You got suspension, axles, and drive shafts right there. Don't know what the deal with that is, but whatever. Uh, and right here on this side, it shows you the controller. It's very faded, the way they did that. It's very faded. Uh, so you got your steering trim, throttle rate. Uh, your binding is your throttle rate also. You got the switch, on off switch, your light switch setup. Uh, you got your left and right. You got your left and your right steering. Then you got your forward and backward. So enough talk. Let's just open this guy up and see how it looks. All right, here it is, everybody. Take all this plastic stuff off. Comes in. Truck comes in a bag. And you have the controller. Again, I'm not a fan of the thumb steer on these things. Definitely not a fan of the thumb steer on these things because it is way too close to the body of it and it, it's just awkward the way that you hold this thing. So again, it's just like the Cherokee, the MN78 uh, that I got. You got the two dummy you got the two dummy buttons here. You have your throttle rate, your light switch, uh, steering trim, and then another dummy right over there. And your on-off switch, um, your steering, thumb steer, which doesn't really work. And you got your throttle there. Put this to the side. And let's take this guy out and see how it looks. There it is, you guys. This thing looks absolutely awesome. The doors do not open. I believe the hood opens. Yep, the hood does open. Is where you have your battery that's going to go in. And I'll tell you what, guys. This thing just looks absolutely awesome. I am really, really liking the way this thing looks. Tailgate opens up. Got your bed so I think the bed is enough so 
this is all a one piece it is not a two-piece body the bed and the body here it is all one piece now they did do a nice job on this this looks stunning absolutely stunning the suspension of course they are not oil filled suspension on the front and on the back you have your leaf springs and you also have some coilover shocks on the inside there they probably put the coilovers in the back here just to dampen it a little bit um, but it just seems like it's a little too stiff uh, I'm thinking about taking these shocks off so I'm thinking about taking these shocks off and putting some oil filled ones in here because you really don't need the springs because it already has leaf springs on the back so you don't really need suspension with the springs in the back uh, but this thing just looks absolutely awesome I'm really liking the way this thing looks your on off switch again is underneath just like on the MN78 and again this thing looks absolutely awesome so let's put this guy to the side real quick and let's see what came in the bag so, all right I'm not gonna be able to open up that bag cautiously so in the bag which is a nice looking bag though by the way so in the bag you get your USB charger you get your snorkel that you have to put on and still put together put the filter cap on the top you have looks like you have your handles here it brings handles it brings mirrors and I'm guessing these are covers for somewhere so these covers would go on there I'm thinking probably here in the bumper my guess I'm not sure you get some chromed out pieces this piece actually came off that was on here it brings three of these uh, we'll figure out where they go then it looks like you have some chromed out handles you have a Toyota emblem that's here on the front and then you have an MN models emblem but I'm going to go with the Toyota to put on the front here you also get your lenses so you get your cap here for your snorkel you get your rear lenses your light lenses turn signal lenses here uh, I believe these are for the fog lights these little round ones here they're for the fog lights so we'll put that to the side and of course you get your trading card <laughs> that comes with the MN models uh, there are some stickers that are gonna that come with it but I don't think I'm gonna be putting them on put them out to the side and of course you also get your manual the one thing that is good about this, this is what I want to show you in the very last page it basically shows you where you put your stickers at if you decide you want to put the stickers on and it also shows you where all the accessories go on the vehicle so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to put all these accessories on here I'm going to put all these accessories on the truck and we'll take a better look at it all right guys there it is I got all the accessories put on and I gotta tell you this thing looks absolutely awesome come on closer I want to show you the little details on it all right so the one thing that they did with the mirrors as you guys can see it is an actual reflective mirror it's not just a piece of glass that's on there or silver whatever that's actually pretty cool those little black things go on the side right here the handles chrome handles on there the lenses that go on here on the instructions that actually showed these go put on too but they were already on when I opened up the vehicle and the amber lights 
that looks actually pretty cool. I'm thinking about probably getting amber lights for the fogs also. Um, right in here, there might be an option later on for a something, I don't know what, maybe a winch or something that will be on the inside there. As you guys can see underneath, looks like there's room there. So there might be something, not sure. Uh, the fog lights on the bottom, they do have holes there, so you are actually put able to put lights in there. Now onto the other side, the snorkel fit on perfectly with the snorkel cap. Another lens goes on right there. The handle, you got a gas cap here and another gas cap back there. It actually brought three, so there's an extra one. Um, the running boards that are on the bottom here, they actually look very, very nice on there. The interior, you guys, looks absolutely stunning. I like that. And you guys can see right in there, looks like a clip for your seat belt. They did very nice with the interior there. The tires look pretty dang good. You got your caps on the back your gas cap on the back there. Then you have your door handles for the tailgate, which the tailgate just pops off. And those don't do anything. I'm not gonna be opening up this door too, too much because it just clips right on like that onto the plastic and I don't want that to wear out. So the less you open that up, the less it's gonna wear out the plastic on there. Now, the one thing that I did not do as you guys can see, I did not put those lenses on in the back. They are right here. What I want to do is color them in. I'm going to get some uh, Sharpies, a red and a yellow or amber. And I want to color these in so that way it doesn't look awkward and it's all clear. So I'm going to wind up doing that. Uh, I'm thinking about probably painting this back area here black just to kind of mimic somewhat of a bumper um, I might end up doing that also and there we have it that is what it looks like there with the lights of course we all know the controller there and that is your steering rate that's how much steering you get I think there could be more steering out of it but I'm gonna be messing around with it now you do have for your throttle you do have your switch that is right there is <laughs> your throttle rate so you have your high and your low and so far this thing looks pretty works pretty dang good no films inside the tires when you go to pinch the side of it they are very firm tires. Uh, yeah, the, these tires are just very, very firm. They're not soft at all. The suspension in the back, I am going, like I said, I'm going to take out those coilovers in the back um, because that, I'm pressing down pretty dang hard on it. The front is just nice, it's just bouncy. Not nice, but it's, it's bouncy. So yeah, this thing looks, Pretty dang nice. I'm very, very impressed with the body on it. Uh, the one thing I do want to check though before we do take it out is articulation. So not too bad on articulation. Uh, tire wise, eh, well I don't know. I don't think these wheels kind of match up the body but that will be fixed. So let's check out how the electronics are. And I believe I have it on low speed. That's low speed. And you press your throttle rate button right there. The lights will blink twice. And you have your high speed. So high speed, press your button. The lights blink twice and you're on low speed. Blink once, high speed, twice as low speed. So let's see how this thing goes up this little ramp thingy. 
Not so bad. Let's put something a little, something a little more aggressive here. See how it does. Okay, not so bad. I had to give it about half throttle for it to go. But there is a drag brake on this thing. All right, so there is a drag brake on it. That's not too bad. All right, so I say let's take it out to the mini crawl course and see how this thing does. Let's go.
guys, and there it is, the MN82, and I have got to say, I am pleasantly surprised with this guy. It did better than I thought it was gonna do. Uh, the electronics in here are really not that bad. The modulation in it did pretty well. It has some pretty good modulation in here. The slow crawl and everything, it did pretty good. I had a nice run with it off camera, and I have got to say, it handled itself very, very well. Uh, the one thing that I am disappointed about is in the rear how hard the suspension is. So what I did end up doing, I did take the shocks off of the back, just left the leaf springs, but when I did that, the whole rear end, I'll show you guys, the whole rear end just basically went boop. It just dipped down way too much and that did not look right to me, especially when it's empty here in the bed. That did not look right. So I did end up putting the shocks back on. So that is something I ended up doing. Um, I have to say I am very happy with this guy. What kind of sucks about it too is if you guys can see right there on the roof, when they did the molding to it, it left that there, but we could probably put a sticker on there or something to cover it. I don't know. We'll figure something out with it, you guys. Uh, they did very, very well. Uh, so, if you guys have seen my short that I ended up doing, I also said that I have a project that I was working on. This is a project that I've been wanting to work on for a while, and I finally as I was waiting for this guy, I actually had some time to start on this project and I'll show you guys what it is. So as you guys can see here, I built a trailer. So this, bo this body for the trailer actually came off of a toy car for Treehouse Kids Toys. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with that thing. I bought it. I think when I bought it, I was already expecting to use the bed as a trailer. So I bought it at the thrift store and I figured, hey, perfect. I think it's about 118 size. It'd be a perfect trailer to haul around with the Land Cruiser or my Toyota here, the C24, or my 118 scales even any of my 118 scales that I have, this trailer would come out perfectly for it. So what I ended up doing was I ended up brazing the frame for the body, for the bed, realistically. And what I did was underneath here, this plastic did come on here. So I ended up coming, cutting some of that off so I could utilize the rear bumper that you guys see here. So there you go. So I could utilize that rear bumper that's there, which I think it came out good. The only thing I do have to do is I gotta add something on the bottom here just to make it that little step and that's gonna be good. Uh, I did end up just screwing the bed onto the frame on here. This is all brass. I ended up ordering some leaf springs from uh, WPL and I actually had a WPL axle just laying around, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll use that. <laughs> so for the lease springs, it, not so bad, not too bad, not too bad. I'm thinking about, I am thinking about tightening up the leaf springs back here make them a little stiffer because as soon as it just dips all the way down it doesn't come back up so i'm thinking about doing something with that but i can say but i can say that i'm pretty happy with the way that this guy turned out i still also have to finish up the front here i'm just waiting to get end links so i can make the 
I forget what that's called, but so I can make the hitch attachment here. So I'm very happy with the way this guy came out. And I am not that good of a brazer. I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. And as you guys can see, there's boogers right there and everything. But I got it to work. The frame is going to be getting painted black. Right now, everything is just a mock-up. But I am happy with the way that it came out. Again, with the WPL tires that I put on here from the Cherokee, because I don't know what tires I put on the MN78, but that's the tires these came off of. Whatever, either way. So hopefully one day this will be attached like so maybe. And as you guys can see, the bed of this guy is actually a little bit smaller than the MN82. I actually have it just like hanging around in there. So I think this trailer is gonna be perfect for that. And that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this. And I wanna thank everybody. The channel has finally reached 800 subscribers. My main goal is to reach a thousand subscribers. And I wanna thank you all for helping me get this far. I did say once the channel reaches a thousand subscribers, there is going to be a vehicle giveaway. I already know what vehicle it is that I'm going to be giving away. And if you guys want to have a chance at winning that vehicle, you guys got to subscribe. So you guys have a chance to win the vehicle. So hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you guys don't want to miss anything. I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully, it might be about this guy or something else we don't know yet. I don't even know yet, but we'll figure it out. You all have a good one. Keep our seeing.